When I saw this trade, guys, I think my jaw hit the floor. I couldn't believe the return the Chicago Blackhawks got for Brandon Hagel. Two first round picks, Boris Kachuk and Taylor Radish. Honestly, when I first saw this trade, I thought I read it wrong. I thought it was a conditional 2023 first that would turn into a 2024 first if it was a top 10 pick. Nope, turns out it's two first round picks. Both are conditional if they're top 10, but Tampa Bay is too good of a team. They're not going to be top 10 picks. I cannot believe the return Chicago Blackhawks got for Brandon Hagel. Obviously, he's a good player. Um, in my mind, he's kind of like low-end second, high-end third-line player. Some people might say he's like a bona fide second liner, but I want him to prove it for me a bit more, uh, more so than just this season. Now, I'm giving him a bit more credit than EA. I think in my roster, he's like an 82 high top nine. Could become an 83 easily, but EA did him dirty here. As you guys can see, he's a 23-year-old 80 overall winger with low bottom six potential, which is so underrated. He's actually having a pretty solid season this year. Uh, I don't think he's worth two first round picks, two decent prospects, but he's got 37 points in 55 games right now, which is like, you know, good second line performance, I would say. Last year at 24 and 52, so he's getting better. Still relatively young at 23, but that return, guys, is just insane. Now, the reason they got such a good return is right here. He's making 1.5 million for the next three years, so they get him for a couple more years after this cup run, basically those two years that they give the first round picks for. And Tampa Bay, I think, values cap space more than anything because they have all their superstars on those big contracts. A guy like Hagel, who's a legit NHL that can actually play, I think is worth a lot more to Tampa Bay on that cheap $1.5 million deal than probably like any other team in the league. And Chicago, clearly looking to rebuild, they don't really care if they get him on a great value deal. They'd rather those futures, the two firsts, the two prospects. But again, this is so much to give up for him. Like, he's a solid player, but when I saw that return, like I said, initially I thought it was, you know, a 2023 first. That could become a 2024 first. I didn't realize they are giving up both. Now, Tampa Bay is holding on to their 2022 first. They probably figure that prospect could be helping them in 2023 or 2024 as they, you know, kind of round out this dynasty. Their guys start getting older. So, 2023 first and a 2024 first like that's incredible with two like i said solid prospects i think ea actually probably has them a bit too high in game you can see both medium top six but they're older oh, they're actually same age as hegel though both 23 riders they're 76 kachuk they're 75 honestly that's probably not too bad though as they're both former second round picks taylor radish here second rounder 2016 kachuk here also a second rounder 2016 they actually got picked, what, 14 picks away from each other, so that's kind of cool. Never really broken the NHL yet, though, because Tampa Bay has so much depth. I think, honestly, if they get some more ice time with the Blackhawks, get a better chance to succeed. I feel like both of these guys could be solid third liners in the NHL. Radish maybe even a second liner, so you could say have Kachuk high top nine, leave Radish and medium top six. The rating makes sense, as they haven't really proven themselves as NHLers yet, so they don't need to be, like, you know, high 70 or anything, but, <laughs> like, two first round picks. In my mind, two decent prospects were pretty unproven still. For Brandon Hagel, who, like I said, high-end third liner or like a lower-end second liner on a really good contract. We can't forget that. On a really good contract, even if those are two late first-rounders, like this makes the Blake Coleman trade, the Barkley Goudreau trade Tampa Bay made, like this hails in comparison. What a return. Medium difficulty. It could be easy difficulty. Hagel could be 82 instead of 80. There's no way Tampa Bay ever says yes to that. So we'll try it now from Tampa's perspective. I think... Uh, we already know what the Blackhawks answer is going to be. And you gotta love EA's rosters, guys. I just noticed Eric Gustafson here, still an 82. The guy barely made the team. And you gotta go so far down to find Brandon Hagel. He's actually lower value than Regula, who I think the Blackhawks traded Detroit Perlini for. I mean, it's kind of crazy to me. Obviously, I'm using EA's roster. It's not my custom roster, because we're trying to see, you know, would the trade go through in EA's eyes, not my eyes. I feel like my rosters are usually a bit more accurate, I'd say. So... The two first round picks, Chicago's, actually, they're only interested in the 2023, not the 2024, interesting. I did forget to mention, uh, Tampa Bay was interested in Brandon Hagel. We did the trade of Chicago, and you can see here, in both Radish and Kachuk. So, yeah, <laughs> two first round picks, Radish, Kachuk. Before I do this trade, which is obviously going to go through, I am curious to see kind of what the value would actually line up for. Like, Alex Zabrinka here is probably more similar value in-game. It actually is. We'd be over the max salary cap. But just to give you guys an idea, like you can see there, the value with the two first, Radish Kachuk, is more than to bring it. They probably still say no, though, because he's not on the block. A really good player, whatever. Um, honestly, Kirby Doc, I'm going to try this. If it goes through, then we'll just uh, redo, of course, the Hagel trade. But I'm curious to see if, like, they could get Kirby Doc for this price in-game. 
and, and they can. Wow. So we're not gonna try the actual trade here, guys, is Tampa Bay. Like I said, for sure Chicago's gonna say yes. Yeah, like they're getting so much value there. This trade definitely helps out to kind of recoup some of the futures they gave up for Seth Jones. I think Cole Sillinger so far, plus Adam Boquist. And I believe their first round pick this year, unless it's like top five, top ten, uh, whatever that, you know, condition was. But Still, really good return. Blackhawks probably aren't done yet. I feel like they could still get some more. So, we'll take a look here at the Lightning lines. When healthy, with Hagel in the mix. So right here, guys, what the Lightning might look like with Brandon Hagel out of the team. You got Kalorn, Stamkos, Kutra on first line, Sorelli Point, Palat second, Hagel, Colton, Perry on the third, Joseph, Belmer, and Maroon on the fourth. Defensively here, obviously the same. It's crazy to me how they lost an entire third line last summer and like a really good third line. Blake Coleman, Yanny Gord, Tyler Johnson, and yet they're still this stack. Like, very, very impressive. Clearly, you know, they're trying to get that three-peat, which if they pull that off, for sure they're a dynasty, no question about it. And next, I'll give you guys your first look at Hagel as a Tampa Bay Lightning. Honestly, I've seen worse game faces, especially for kind of, you know, more depth players like him. Hagel there, 38 on the Lightning. There you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section which team you think won the trade. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.